okay so i see that the firewall is prompting me for the login credentials by default the user is edwin and the password is blank once you hit enter on the blank password it will uh, ask you to uh, uh, create a new password so i'll go and create the new password then once i have created the password um, the firewall is ready to be configured now by default the port 1 is uh, having dhcp uh, on and um, so our firewall should have an ip address already from the 192.168.1.0 range on the port 1 now how to check that you have a command which says get um, system and then interface and you might have physical or if you just click here uh, it should give you the port 1 dhcp ip right you can see it is on dot 100 now if you do um, this it will give you uh, the ip address like this even if you do the physical it should give you the ip address in a better readable format right so mode is going to be dhcp ip is this um uh, and uh, mm, okay speed and status is up now if you want to see um, that uh, the allowed access right if i do ping on the ip address which is 192.168 ping 192 168.1.100 if that is working yes that is working because ping is by default allowed on the port 1 and also there are a couple of more um, protocols that are allowed if you want to see what is allowed so to go into the uh, I mean uh, the system uh, or interface config of the uh, port 1 you have to uh, basically sh see uh, if you want to edit that is a different story but if you want to just check what is the config then you can say show system interface um, like eth no not here eth port 1 right port 1 and you will see all the configurations here right uh, this vdom uh, basically this is the virtual context is our virtual domain is root and set mode is dhcp and you can see the set allow access um, and and inside that you can see ping that is why the ping is happening https is allowed sss http and F, uh, fg fm this is going to be your manager right uh, then uh, the type is physical and SM, snmp index is one now if you want to change this um, then you can do it uh, basically you will have to go to the config system uh, interface mode like this and then you can edit that particular port edit port 1 and then you can start editing anything inside the port 1 right you are in the port 1 configuration mode right and you can say set hello access whatever you want to add but make sure you uh, append this is uh, if i just hit on ping uh, it will replace or you can say uh, overwrite all other uh, uh, protocols here so next time when you see the ch check the show interface system interface port 1 you will see only set allow accesses ping so make sure if you want to add something first copy all of this and then add the next protocol there so that it will append it uh, in the configuration right now if uh, let's say i want to configure uh, uh, what do you say the static ip then i would have to do set mode as static right first i have to do this then i have to say set ip then 192.168.1.51 1 which is our um i mean which is what we have in the topology right and then mm, yeah that would be all and then i'll say end to come out of the interface and let's try and ping this ip on the 51 and yeah i am able to reach now let's try and access the GUI okay so I have logged into my um, 40 gate firewall and DC1 admin and password is admin123 I change it and now this is because this is 7.2 or uh, um, x 2.x version so you will not get the evaluation license by default so you will have to activate this evaluation license via uh, this but for that your your 40 gate firewall should have internet reachability but um, as of now it will not have uh, the reachability because what we are planning is to have uh, the internet via this route right via r7 so uh, we need to configure this r7 to do the pat here uh, the port address translation here 
so we have to configure this so we will do this in the next video um, that was it for this video um, and i will see you in the next lecture